Our Clinical Simulation Learning Center is one of the most significant changes for Humber School of Health Sciences. The Sim Lab offers opportunities to rehearse skills before trying them on real patients, thus improving patient safety. The lab services 1,500 students annually, students representing nursing, both the Bachelor of Nursing program and the Practical Nursing program, Occupational Therapy and Physical Therapist Assistant program, Personal Support Worker program, Funeral Services, Paramedic program, and the Continuing Education and Nursing program. During our simulation, students are able to assess the various medical situations and respond with the appropriate intervention. In addition, we evaluate communication skills, interprofessional clinical scenario practice, remediation, evaluation, and it's a great opportunity for students for self-reflection. Simulation education is a proven method of supporting learning in a low-risk situation while being introduced to integrating increasingly complex scenarios within the education process. Oh, the paramedics are here. Hi. And who's this? This is Mrs. Rissa. Oh, is this the one you, we just got the call right yeah. now? Okay, yeah. please, can you please go to bed six? Just do you want to help us here? Sure. Image is very chaotic. We shouldn't assume just because the patient is coming right now means that there's a nurse waiting to serve that patient. Okay, we have a 65 year old female who fell early this morning, called 911 used through a lifeline. Okay. I felt like it was a real life situation. I think that that's how it's going to be when you're in the hospital and doing stuff step by step in a calm, cool environment. It's not how the hospital, especially emergency room, is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get any medication yeah. before you got we here? Them we were medicine. giving them vital information about the medications we we're trying to give, past medical history, and those are the information that usually nurses really need. And what was his vitals before you got here? Already uh, last known vitals. Pulse was 88 beats per minute, weak and regular. Uh, respiration 16. Uh, shell and regular. Blood pressure was 158 over 94. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So when I heard there's something wrong with my mother. It was very confusing. Everybody was talking and she was like all over the place and I was conversing with the two paramedics. I was frustrated because normally we don't talk to the pair, um, the family members because they're not there unless we take them with us in the ambulance. Just wait one second. You know what, I have no idea what's going on. I got a we have to take care of the patient, that's like the number one thing. And I mean, I know that they want to come in and talk to them, but if they're in there and we can't get to the patient, it's only going to stop us from what we need to do. We need Please. to stabilize your mom and then you she should okay? come back in. From I mean, an outsider looking in, there was so much attention going on. You know, is it a crisis situation that I'm not knowing, is she dying? If I would have had just one minute just to say something to her, I would have felt a lot better. I understand that you want to talk to her, and that's okay too, but we are better off working, like focusing on the patient than the relative. We're really trying to show you um, what it's like for that distraction and getting you to kind of say, okay, well, what do I need to do differently? You know, if there's a really disruptive situation like this, I really thought you did a great job. I think you guys also did a really good job focusing on the patient. I was watching all of you still trying to focus. Good everybody. job, everybody. Thanks. The Clinical Simulation Lab includes four independent labs. We have 36 beds. Each lab has the capacity to simulate a general inpatient area. We have two critical care unit beds for patients, including infants and adults, and all labs are equipped with audiovisual equipment for evaluation and learning. All of our students have the opportunity to experience a variety of care settings and health scenarios, thereby enabling them to be better prepared upon graduation. John, 56 years old, he was fishing when he began to feel ischemic chest pain. 12 lead shows inferior wall stemming. We're treating him right now for acute coronary syndrome. I gave her some sleeping pills. I take them all the time. I told her to only take two or three, and it would help her sleep. I never thought it would hurt her. The Learning Center is a resource that will complement your practice education. And in addition to all the student benefits, it improves faculty resource utilization, it decreases pressure on our clinical partners for placements and creates new opportunities for partnerships among our educators.